What is up, my fellow Americans? This is Richard Nixon live from the White House. And uh, hey, uh, we're, we're, we're doing this. So, Isaiah is also here with us today. What's up, Play guys? We are gaming. Yep. yep. Today we're playing the Richard Nixon gaming board game. Also, you are looking at it from the way the text is going, right, South? Yes, buddy. Okay. I know how to so look see, at games. This is the Richard Nixon board game uh, beta. I'm making the Richard Nixon board game. So as you can see, there are so many things here. I'll elaborate kind of on the rules. You roll a D6. Unless you don't roll a D6. Because that will be elaborated later. But currently, we have this whole big board. There are a bunch of stuff. There are all these tiles which allow you to draw a card. Which right here, you can see there are a bunch of cards that uh, relate to a specific series that we have played before. And you may be wondering what these uh, weird square pieces are. Those are covering up orange tiles and the entirety of the uh, OP dimension. If you guys were wondering, um, I'm too lazy, and Isaiah isn't present enough, and Anthony just made this entire game uh, yes. himself, <laughs> and I definitely so see, helped. You want, I'll elaborate more. So see, you may be wondering why there are different colored text. So see, white text is basic. You just land on it and activate it. Yellow text is if you go across that yellow text, you are automatically required to use the yellow text. Uh huh. But if you and land on it, text, well, if you land on it, does is the effect doubled? Yes. Yeah. Example: Except you for can go to, go to capitalism twice. Yes. What? All right. Uh huh. And then, as you can see, there. Yeah, I explained that. Blue tiles are also just like uh, properties from Monopoly. As you can see, we have the capital Opoly board here. Yep, Which, yep. Uh, yeah, and orange spaces are optional. Whenever you go over them, you have the option to activate them. If you do, then they're activated. But if you land on them, they're automatically activated. Those are what are covered up by the orange square. You'll see? Then here is the option for either of you. Either of you can start on the normal board, or you can start on the death board. Um, you start um, dead. What? There are downsides to starting dead, though. You lose <sighs> the ability to roll a d6 and you have to do a, roll a d4. It's up to you. Alright. Uh, I'm going to stay on the big board because I'm recording, but you guys can do whatever. I think that uh -huh. I will start dead. <laughs> right. Okay. You have to roll a d4 and you start on the death board. Yep. And you are automatically dead. Alright. Your thing is now blue. Signifying you're dead. So see that. Sure. Yep, we'll roll to see who goes first. How did I die? Uh, you, uh, you got covered by bees. <laughs> Okay, whichever, wherever that dice spawns, I got two. Roll the dice, Nixon, and you roll a die to Isaiah. But he's not physically here. We'll just pretend he's here by this. I also got a two. Yo, I'm first. Let's go. Okay, then. Uh, wait, me and Isaiah got one more. What? Why? Determine the turn order. He rolled a two, too. I got a one. Oh, that makes okay, sense. You let Nixon. I got a four. Okay, right. nine ones. First, roll first, Nixon. All right. Let's see what uh, is to come. You got a uh, six. six. There's so many creases. We'll just count it. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So you land on this. This is an optional spot. We'll remember this. Do you want to activate this optional spot right now or not? Didn't you say if I land on it, I have to? Yeah. Oh, yeah, true. Okay, this spot has been activated. Uh, no, you stay on the spot for now. Oh, so it doesn't flip over you? Uh, no. Okay. Also, I forgot to give everyone their money. Uh, here you go. One, two, three William after dollars. Yo. Isaiah, you also have three right. William after dollars. Yep, and we'll put him in Isaiah's hand. Uh -huh. As you can tell by looking at the majestic uh, big bowling pin. Yep. <laughs> okay, then. Also, Isaiah isn't here. It doesn't have tabletops anymore, so that's why. Okay, then, Isaiah, roll and it's your go. 
But I should have rolled d4. You have to roll a d4. I got a 1. Okay, you can hunt someone and steal 20 bucks. Also, um, green words are exclusive to the dead. Okay. I. Who do you ask well, for $20 from? Yeah, who do I steal 20 from? I wonder. I think that I will steal twenty dollars from uh, the president himself. Is it because I slept in an hour and a half? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's my roll because you know rolling, and I got five. One, yep. two, three, four, five, and I gotta go to the no gaming board, which is right here. Uh, this game is dog. great. I spent so much time hey, looking at it. Oh. It hasn't the dog, been balanced. The dog. Yet. The dog. So see now, before you roll, actually, oh, yeah. decide which route you want to go on. Oh, you can definitely either go on with... chicken espionage. Actually, route, you roll fuck. first. You roll first, then you have to decide. Fuck we don't stop it. Man. Okay, then you have to pay one hundred and fifty dollars. You may now go the chicken espionage route, and you roll the four. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we hide that still. Okay, then move yourself oh, to the store. store. You are now on the store board. I can't uh, be there. Oh. Yeah, you can. You're here. So see, now you're going to do some trading with a part one deal. Okay. So, it's up so. to you. You can buy any of these items here if you can afford it, but you only have less than $300. So see, you can buy a gun. You can use it to rob people or to just uh, hurt people. Or both. And then you have right. a wood plank, which allows you to block certain paths. All right. And then you have oh, a Uno reverse card. It does a thing. But I'm going to assume you're going to buy nothing because you're poor. Can I go into debt? You're poor! Uh, yes. If you, if you go into debt, you die. And Dio gives you a pity dollar. So put that in your hand. <laughs> your one dollar bill. Uh, All right. Okay, then your turn, Isaiah. I can't go there for some I got a four. Yeah, let's see. You got I'm a four? Man, man. Uh, you get ten dollars. Woohoo! You are now the richest person on the board. I don't know how okay. much money I have. I have 120. 130. No. Uh, yes, we have uh, 300 I something, right? Oh, okay, I got five. I'm on the, own, the no gaming board. One, two, three, four, five. And I get sent to the uh, boiler board. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's great. The no gaming board is pretty much just to get sent to a board or make it to the end and get really rich. Unfortunately, the only way to get to the end is by being dead. Oh. True. Okay, then. Now it's your go, Nixon. All right. Let me roll this here dice. Let's see. What do you get? Two. You get to go to the no gaming board. No. You get out by making it on there. So pretty much you'll be sent to a random board. Okay. Most likely. Or you will die. That's your turn, Isaiah. Okay, then you activate that space that you landed on. And because it's Spend enough turns, we'll reveal the secret orange spaces. So down here on the uh, Oh No Gaming board, we have Goku Transforms, and because of that, Goku is now added to the game. Oh. He is now a part of the game. <coughs> if he runs into you, you will have to roll a die. If you get a four, you live. If you don't, you die. Oh. Goku right. also rolls a d4. And on the death board, Isaiah landed on... The Goku transforms space. Goku is now stronger. Huh? I didn't, I didn't land on that one. What? That's what you land. Oh, wait. Never mind. You didn't do that. Either way, Sals also landed one on the main board. Mm -hmm. So Goku is now ascended, and we have many more optional spaces, like death. And a bunch of Goku transforms. And the ability to fight and duel other people. Okay, what did, what did Isaiah land on? Though? Are we going to reveal that yet? Uh, he didn't actually land on one. He's correct. Hey. And also, now we reveal the OP board. He's on one right As now. As you can see. Oh. 
yeah, this is what he gets. It's uh, Pope Francis is added to the board. <laughs> and uh, this times two. Yep, take it off. So see, <laughs> you land on that face twice. William Afton gets added to the board. I don't know where you want So basically, to you have spawned Pope Francis. Pope Francis will cleanse any of the dead who uh, come to the living world, killing them again. Uh, he no. also rolls a d4. It's because, here's the thing, you can leave the death board and return to the living board even if you were, you know, not dead. But if you run into Pope Francis, you will get cleansed. No. And uh, we remove the Capitolopoly board, uh, just the deal, uh, not a deal, but a Waluigi. So see, now that we have removed all the boards, you can see every space. There are a lot. And so, now that that has been done, did it's my go. Which is just uh, rolling. Rolling, 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 rolling. Four. Rolling, 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 rolling. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, I landed on a property. I now own uh, the sand space. Number three. Alright, game. Uh huh. Okay. That is a four. We have Big Chungus. Okay, Big Chungus now enters the board. Where did <laughs> I set Big There's so That's many guys like that. that exist. Huh. Well, I forgot to add Big Chungus to the board. Uh, we'll just ignore that. Big Chungus does not enter the board. No. Instead, you get uh, $7. Okay. There you go. You got your $7. Okay, now, Isaiah, it's your roll. I got a two. So you got a two. Uh, okay. You're now an upgraded ghost. You now roll a d6. No way. Yep. For five turns. Or actually, wait. Now it's Goku's turn. And Pope Francis. This is for Pope Francis. He gets a three. And then we roll for Goku. And he also got a three. Goku is now battling Pope Francis. Uh, Pope Francis dies. Yo. <laughs> this is a board game of all time. Okay, now roll the die. Uh, it's your turn. Or yeah, it is definitely my turn. This definitely is the board game of all time. <laughs> Real bad. Yep, it is a board game. Okay, I land on the Among Us face. It means I draw an Among Us card. <laughs> what does the Among Us do? Okay. Uh, okay, I'm going to temporarily keep this in my hand. You don't want to kill I can me? now kill an opponent if I want. I'm not sure if I want to kill you yet. <laughs> I mean, worst case, you're going to uh, get like three hundred, four hundred dollars, or nine hundred, and then die naturally. One two. Yo. And you get five hundred dollars. A big ball, man. One two three four five. I'm trying to go there back go. to the store, man. Okay, okay. My cash. Yeah, then it's your turn, Isaiah. Go to the cap. You got the cap. Board. I got a three. So you got three. Three. three Some three, human three. skeleton. Okay, so well, that's Some not space. Space. That's just a design. He's in the start space. Store space. Okay, Isaiah, you have some money, but you have not enough to afford any of Dio's wares. Okay. As you can see, it's Dio from. Part one, though. Yeah. And because you simply can't afford anything from the D.O., you get a dollar. Yay! Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Bro. Yeah. Is it signed? You get your D.O. now. <laughs> Whoops, I forgot to remove the Jesus square. Um, hearing. And uh, we landed on Jesus. I also forgot to implement Jesus, so that was interesting. Who <laughs> really? <laughs> the store. Okay, then you know what that means. You're in the Dio store. With mm -hmm. $634. 33 $633. You can't afford Dio, so Dio gives you another dollar. But I'm too poor still. 
definitely going to buff Dio. Dio now gives you uh, $50. What? <laughs> Not starting on Silas. No. Oh, okay then. Uh, congrats, Silas. Next turn you die. Yeah, I know. Uh huh. That's your roll, Isaiah. Wait, why does Silas die next turn? Look at. Uh, he has an unoptional death space directly ahead of him. Ah, I see. Yeah, everybody's favorite gimmicks. How do we win? You know uh, we win when we decide we win. He has excited for me to die. We haven't. We haven't come out so far. Uh, yeah, roll and die. I'm officially dead. Whoa, oh, okay. You have now entered the death board, and you are dead. Once Wait, I I the next. So I don't get my $2,000? Uh, no. You only get that if you're able to pass the die space. But if you're a ghost, you can't die. Oh, that's stupid. I'm angry. Yep, okay then, South, you now only roll the D4. Yeah. Okay then, Isaiah, it's your go. Wait a minute. Yeah, go. I got a two. Oh, okay, you've got the two. Okay, you're now on the start space in the living board. Yeah. Oh, but I'm dead. But the Pope's not here, it's fine. Yeah? Yeah, the Pope got murdered by Goku, and now we're going to roll for Goku. He got a four. Uh, he'll just go whichever way leads him to the nearest area fast. Where he can actually kill someone. No roll. And I got three. One, two, three. Then I draw a shotgun no. king the final checkmate card. Which will be carefully hidden in my hand. If I can actually see what it is because there are so many dollar bills. Okay, it's a simple get two hundred and four dollars. Congrats! You're now in the Ghost Dio store, which is the exact same store. And I get fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Yes. Can you not afford anything right now? I mean, I couldn't last time. I'm only a dollar rich. Okay, fine then. Yeah, twenty. Twenty. I got a two. You got a two. You get three hundred sixty-seven dollars. Let's fucking go. You guys want to hear a silly thing that happened to me the other day? What happened to you? Yeah. So I have a diffuser. If you know what that is, mm -hmm. I I can put like essential oils into it, and it makes my room smell good by like putting like air vapor around. Mm -hmm. Um, but. I have a little thing on my desk that I'm gonna be that I was keeping for a grad party to give to someone. It's a tiny bottle of uh, Tabasco sauce that I got from an MRE, <laughs> uh, and I have that right next to my essential oil. I put the Tabasco in my diffuser, and my eyes burned so fucking bad. <laughs> burned? Yeah, because like they were spraying Tabasco chili oil all over my room. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, that sucks. Got one. I'm alive. Okay, you are now alive. Oh my gosh, sucks. <laughs> Silex. Uh, yeah, I never said you'd go to the living board. I know. You're just alive now in the death board. Oh. Oh. That just crashed. I got a two. You got a two. You land on the Among Us space. You must draw an Among Us card. Yo. Uh, you lose thirty-four dollars. So it says the Among Us card. What a loser. Silas, I'm gonna come over there and hurt you. Maybe I'll do it myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's Please. Sad. Spare me so I don't have to do it. I send someone to I have to fight someone. Uh you Silas. You're fighting I me? fight you. How does that work? Yeah. Uh you roll your dice. Roll yeah. your uh D four. Why do I roll your a D four? No I'm not. It's your dice. I got four. Now roll your D four. 
You're dead, though. Out of three. Wait, but Those why is Silas dead? He just came back to life, yeah. didn't he? Why am I dead? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, you're correct. Sorry, I forgot. You're not dead. This guy, man. So, yeah, you're right. Okay, then. Uh, Try not what? actively cheat. Silas, I'm going to send you to the capitalism board, then, if you want to do that so much. All right. You bet. You're in the capitalism board now. You have to comply to the laws of capitalism. I got a spam call. You, you lose one hundred dollars. Still, you one hundred in the back. And then because of that, it's your roll, Isaiah. I got a three. Okay, then it's up to you. You want to activate the Goku transform button to make everyone's lives worse, even though Goku's directly behind you? No. Okay, then do you want to go the chicken espionage route or the magic heart route? Chicken espionage uh, costs $150 to go down. I will go down the chicken espionage route. The okay, the land on espionage. espionage where? Unfortunately, I don't actually have cards to represent them yet because I made this, like, finished it literally the day of. Yo. There we go. What's so that means... Let me check. Was that a check? 2K. You get 2K. Bruh. One... I paid 150 and made 2k. <laughs> <laughs> Investing be like oh. Goku cannot kill me because I am not alive. I am a I am a bowling pin. Yep. You, turn it to you simply are the bowling pin. Oh yeah, it is my turn. Okay. Now, let me roll. One. Hey yo, what's that. up? I'm on the capitalism board now. Okay, then, now it's your roll. Five. Fuck, bro. Yo, that's lit. You have to pay 30, but you get five every turn. Whoops, that's the bank. Okay, pull out your 30, and I'll give you uh, five. I love investing. <laughs> I got a four. Is this struggling with Welcome to the capitalism board. Yo, everybody hey, else. Yep, everyone is here now. He's gonna straight up roll a one and enter the capitalism board. Don't worry. Next, next level, he gains the ability to go to any different board he wants at will. Yo, it's lit. Four. One, two, three, four. Waluigi is added to the board. Uh, that's not Waluigi. This is Waluigi. Waluigi is now on the board. Hello. All right. He'll roll a similar time. Okay, that's your roll. Silas. Four. Yo, good boy. They got Pay one hundred. If you go bankrupt, do you die? Uh, yes. That makes sense. Okay, then. And now that it's been your turn, it's Isaiah's turn. Roll your d6. I got a five. One, two, yeah, it's you. Three, it's you. Wait. No, that's Isaiah. How did he get a five if he's dead? Uh, he... Isaiah? Yep. I get to take a chance Isaiah. card. Yep, here's your chance card. You've been elected chairman of the board. Pay each player fifty dollars. Does that mean I also pay myself fifty dollars? Uh, if you want. <laughs> yeah. I will pay myself fifty dollars as well. Okay. Uh, you pay yourself fifty dollars. Does it say you pay everyone fifty dollars? Yeah, doesn't it say pay oh. each player fifty dollars? Oh yeah, it does. Uh, we'll leave it that way. Who cares? <laughs> I've paid him money. Okay then. Uh, now that you've rolled, it's Waluigi's turn. Waluigi rolls a D thirty. 
Uh, 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Waluigi is now on the death board. And because he ran past each of us, he stole $20 oh. from each player. It's uh, can I bribe him? Uh, do you want to attempt to bribe Waluigi? Yeah. How much will you bribe him with? I'm going to give him $40 for him to take an additional $20 from Silas. Bruh. Uh, he accepts this deal. Is this how this works? What? Uh, yes, it pretty much works on how uh, we feel like it sometimes. We just sort through the money. And Waluigi would definitely accept the deal to, of taking $40 to a, explicitly rob you even more. <laughs> okay, then. Could right, you deposit your extra money? Yep. I see how it is, buddy. Two. Okay, I'm going to pay $34 for the sands, but from Delta. Bro has built sands. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go to the gaming board. Uh, gaming. Anthony. What? I'm on Goku. <laughs> okay, roll the d6. If you've got a four, you live. The rest you die. Fuck. Actually, we should make that more balance. Okay, if you get a four, three, or a two, you live. You die. No, Richard no. Was assassinated. It was no, a terrible, no. sad day. <laughs> Bro, this is an unfortunate consequence. Bro goes to the no gaming board, gets killed by uh, Goku, and lands on the same space that Waluigi is on. Yeah. Give him twenty dollars. <laughs> and by him, I mean the bank. What if I just say no? Uh, Waluigi takes uh, $100. I got a, I got a four. Okay. Oh, wait. The bad die hasn't been implemented yet. Uh. Okay, Uh, because you walked past my property, I get to steal uh, $34. Yo. Can I bribe you? Uh, how much? I uh, take nothing from me, but take 64 from Silas. Uh, it doesn't work without Silas's cooperation. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Do Can you I agree bribe to you, this Isaiah? deal, Silas? Take nothing from me, but I get $2 million from Anthony ah. if he dies. I don't agree to this deal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Is the number on the die times 10 unless it's a 1, in which case you go to the LP board. Okay, so I, I'm rolling a d6, right? Yes. And I have to get a 1? And you'll go to the LP board. Yeah. Guys. What? I got a one. <laughs> okay, you're at the OP board now. Bruh. It's OP. It's the OP board. There's only one space it shows up from, and any reality warping weapons do not allow you to get here. It's only on the ANT twenty three route. Shut up. This one tile. <laughs> okay then. Uh, now that that has occurred. It is Goku and Waluigi's turn. Let's roll the Goku die. He gets a three. Goku gets sent to the death board with Silas. Silas, Bruh. you are dead, so Goku cannot fight you. Goku and Waluigi have to fight. Goku and Waluigi have to fight. Waluigi and Goku do, in fact, fight. But do you want to know what happens? <laughs> Waluigi, Waluigi wins. Waluigi wins. Uh, yeah, Waluigi goes Super Saiyan 3. 
<laughs> Bro. Yeah. And uh, Goku gets reverted all the way back to his default form. But for three turns, he is gone. So, now that that happened, roll the Waluigi dice. He now steals 50. <sighs> and then we roll the Waluigi dice. Eight. Nothing. Uh, Waluigi is not dead, so he cannot bribe the living. And, uh, deposit $50, because you got attacked by Super Waluigi. I did? Yeah, you were on the same space as him when he moved. I got attacked by him twice? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Also, what's your opinion on this? Okay, then. So, now, do you know what happens? What happens? I roll. Also... Did somebody... Isaiah, did you pass my boardwalk? No, he rolled the bad die and got sent to the OP board. Oh. And I win $1,000. One. Isaiah, give me $20. Why? Because... What What do you mean, why? <laughs> just give me some wallet to steal all my money. <laughs> Uh huh. You lose twenty to earn twenty dollars, Isaiah. Real sad. Okay, no. but now it's your turn, Isaiah. You roll the D four or yeah, D four. Okay. What did you get? I got a three. <clears throat> okay, you have bought the planet Mars. You can buy the planet Mars for one hundred dollars, but because this space is unique. Anyone else who passes this space pays uh, 5k. Yeah, I'll buy it. <laughs> okay, and okay. also because you're on the OP board and you just passed a yellow space, you get uh, $10,000. Oh, whoa! I hate yeah, this. read this OP board right here. You literally get 10000 automatically. You can buy Mars, so people who enter the OP board frick enough to pay half theirs. And you can even become immortal. And all allies or all enemies Wait. become allies, and Sans joins the board. How does becoming immortal work if I'm dead? Uh, you come back to life, and you become immortal. So you won't get affected by die spaces unless you want to. In which case, you won't die, you'll just teleport to the death board. Bruh. 23. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, He's lapping? Uh, yeah. He lands on this store. And because he lapped you twice, pay him $100. Bruh! <laughs> you don't want to be in the same area as Strong Waluigi. Especially on the sh one of the shortest boards, with the exception of the OP board. Only rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay, I make it out, and I return to where I left. Right here. This is meant to be in here. Okay then, so now I'm back to the realm of the living and I give you one hundred dollars. Oh, let's go. So now Isaiah is extremely rich, it all depends on what happens now, because it's Nixon's role, actually. Nixon. Capitalism three. One, two, three. I'm You're alive. alive again. And I get five dollars. Yeah, the return of an investment rate is kinda crazy. Uh, yeah, you know, you just, uh, you take six turns to get back what you paid for, but, you know, it's, okay. Then, you know, it's Isaiah's turn. <sighs> I got a four. Okay, you are no longer in the OP board, and you return to the spot where you entered the OP board, being the communism, or er, capitalism board. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna pay a hundred dollars right now. <sighs> I mean, he might not even lap you. Well, thank you for the generous donation. It's now Waluigi's role. Anthony, how is he not going to lap me? Or at least touch me? 
Yeah. He got a sex. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, the and, Pope. Uh, he acts. Waluigi accidentally revived the Pope from the dead. He is now back on the living board. What is, what is up, up, our fellow we're, Americans? We're uh, playing. Isaiah no, no. had to leave. Unfortunately. Isaiah had to leave because of Nixon uh, derailing the entire thing. Check out uh, the end credits. So now we're playing Uno. Two player Uno. Who wins? Let's go. Let's go. What do you mean? You just played twice. I skipped you. Oh, yeah, I guess he did. Buddy. Uno versus. Am I drawing until I get one? Yes, you draw until you get one. Uno. Uh -huh. Uno. Damn you. I'm better. Who didn't play his draw four? Well. <laughs> We tie! Okay. Well, that was a great game of Uno. We tie? That we did not so tie. To that. I won. Buddy. I consider it a tie. Okay. So <laughs> can you guys guess what the next game is? The fuck? It's Inscription! Bruh. How do I do that? You go, you click your name in the top, you press change color, and you select the blue. Oh, you changed it. Alright. Oh, yeah, I can change it. So, see, this is Uno versus. There's a complex set of rules here. I already read them and understood them. So, if you want, we may shuffle Ouroboros into the draw deck. It's up to you. Sure. Why not? Okay, so see, the way this goes is that we have three squirrels in our hand. Okay. And then, what happens is many things, as you can see by this one. Great smoke. Let's see, here we go. We'll just shuffle, and we have to keep upgrades here, we have to keep swaps, you know. Items, yeah, we'll shuffle in three items, so see. I have randomized the deck. One, two, three. Okay, then. We draw ten cards. Wait, no, you gotta lay it back down. So see? Here's how this works. We have all three of these cards here. And see? Yeah, flip all three. So the thing is, you may pick one of these cards to put in your hand. Ooh. And I'll pick second. I want to take you lunch. Then I'll take the stout. Elk fun. You may put it in your like actual hand too. Uh no, Elk Fun gets discarded. Oh, it does. Then we draw three more. And this time I get to pick first. I'll take Corpse Maggots. There's another Corpse Maggots, too. It's up to you for what you want. I'm just taking Grizzly. Grizzly? Okay. Then we draw three more. And you can flip these already. It doesn't matter. So we got bat, a bullfrog, and a ringworm. What does ringworm even do? It's a uh, zero attacking, one health cost, and that's it. Taking bullfrog. Then I take that. Okay then, then uh, I guess it's a coin flip. Uh, 
would be much easier just to take this and because if I flip it, never mind, it's the exact same size. Instead, we'll uh, flip this boulder. Alright. Heads, boulder, I go first. Actually, nah, die. I'll take odd. Okay. I'll take odd, you take even. Yeah, let me just do what. Oh, yeah, this is... Okay, I'm odd. Seven. Okay, seven. Yeah, first. Mm -hmm. Then for my turn, I play squirrel. Then mantis. Give me one bone token. So do I draw? Now it's your turn. No, you only draw after your first time. Okay. Also, Mantis is pretty good. Uh, yeah, that's why I picked him immediately. So then we're gonna kill that guy. Oh, this is my dead pet. Uh, you're already finished. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. I made a bone. Okay, so that's your turn. Yeah. So then I kill this guy. Yeah, you, you do that. So see, actually, wait, it was my turn. Oh, whoops. Yeah, sorry, we missed something. Uh, I was supposed to take three. Yeah, you took three. And then you take one. I don't. Yeah, I do. Because of the B. Mm -hmm. Get another bone token. Then I can draw this turn. I draw from my hand. Huh. So I play a gek. Actually, wait. This guy is also supposed to be out here. What? You killed my mantis. What? what? The corpse maggot jumps out because of its sigil. What does that mean? Look on the board. What? Or the thing at the end of the table, right here. See, right here, Corpse Eater. A card that you own dies by combat. This card may be played from your hand on its base for free, even during your opponent's turn. And you killed my, uh, uh. guy. Okay, then. Then I use my, uh, scissors to remove your porcupine. Thus meaning I no longer have my scissors and your porcupine is in your dead pile. Right, fine. fine. Be like that. I will cash in my bone tokens. The two of them. Drop them right in here to play my stink bug. Right. Then I ring the bell and. I do two. You're one hit away from that, or two hits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you do it from your hand, not a squirrel. Alright, so I'm gonna. Here's what I gotta do. I'm gonna play this bullfrog. And you sacrifice your bee? Actually. Don't wanna do that. No, no, no. I wanna. Yeah, I want to play a possum, and then play the bullfrog, where the opossum is. You know. What does this stinky do again? Uh, minus the opponent's attack by one. Oh yeah, I remember. And then I'm going to use fish up to steal your stink bug. Wherever the items go, I don't know. What's this? What? What's this? One. And also, your bee died last this turn, I mean. Oh, yeah, bee will also take one. That's in your dead. And this guy takes one, and this guy takes one. Uh, no, your bullfrog wasn't out yet. Wait, what? You attack on your turn when you ring the bell. Yeah. Since I rung the bell, this gex should have already killed your bee. That was like 20 hours ago, man. 
I would have yeah, played yeah, like definitely. my bullfrog here for sure. Uh, doesn't yeah. matter. I want to play that there, Anthony, bro. What? Yeah. So that guy dies. These are both so full life. Okay, then Jack is dead. And for my turn. Own token, I draw a squirrel. Right. And I use my magpie's lens to draw a specific card from my deck. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Then I sacrifice a squirrel for my stout. Now I have another bone token, and then I ring the bell, you take two damage. Right. I'm going to draw from here. Yeah, I'm going to use my hourglass. Take an extra turn. Use my players. Okay, I moved it down. Right, then I'll go okay. down to two. Okay, then it's your go again. No, no, that was my second two. Oh, yeah, yeah, you gotta take two more, I forgot. It's a zero. Yeah. I do now. I draw from my squirrel pile and play a squirrel. Then I ring, kill the squirrel, I get a bone token. Well, this one doesn't deal die? Again. Yeah, it does. I rung the bell. Not until or, later. Actually, yeah, the squirrel doesn't die. Okay, here we go. I still have a token for it. I'll just put that there. If you somehow don't do it. Then uh, ring the bell. So you take one. No, one. one. That's more than one. I know. My squirrel dies. Now. Squirrel is another dead. Uh-huh. Okay, so then. My go, I draw from my hand. You can't use items on another player's turn, right? I can't use them right now, and you don't have any items. Right. Well, that's weird. Ugh. Yeah. Then you drop that, and you sack your all. Then I'm gonna put it here. One of these four bones that I get to put while I'm out. Okay, then you kill me. I flip. I now only have one life left. I ran. Wait, what? My what? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Okay, three, two, one. I get a greater smoke. I'm down to one life now. I'm and so I think lost. Scale is going to reset. This is what you meant. So what? Mm -hmm. You have life. So basically, we got two lives. Oh, yeah, I wish I right knew here. that like earlier. Um, now that is my go. I draw from the hand. Then. I play a greater smoke, drop the black goat, sacrifice the greater smoke. My black goat is gone. It's on the board, and I'll sacrifice it for a magpie, which allows me to draw one of the two cards from my deck. 
which I will not draw that one. Blood left for some reason. Uh -huh. Then, because I should have one, two, three. Whoa, 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 whoa. Greater smoke was sacrificed. Oh, it gives you four bones from sacrificing? Yeah. <sighs> then I needed one more for that, uh, well. You don't just take my cards, then I have nine bones. I play my long elk. What? In which I ring the bell that uh deals one damage to your long elk, putting it down to one health. Yep. And it kills your ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. And then I also deal two damage to you. That's your go. Uh you flipped that a little early. That's fine. Right. This guy kills that guy. You ring the bell? Yeah. What does that mean? Then for uh, my turn, it's just showing oh. that you have one health. I see. Right. You right click it to uh, lower it by one. So then. Uh, I'll draw for my hand. In which I ring the bell. Your guy is dead. And you are dealt two damage. I'm just going to draw a score. You die. Everything's reset to zero. We randomize the smoke pile and draw. Then flip it. Hey. Did you get regular smoke or a greater smoke? Who knows? Um. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. It's uh, your turn because you died. Obviously. I think I want... To go like this, then this, I get, do I only get, so I get four bones from Brady Smoke Dive? Yep, you got five. Okay, I'll give him these one. Okay. Uh, my amalgam five. kills you, stupid. Okay, so oh, I'm going to your turn. Okay, then it is my turn. Mm -hmm. I draw a squirrel. Hmm. Okay, so I play my two squirrels, then play my pack rat. Which allows me to randomly uh, draw from the uh, items, which will be randomized. Then I draw an item. A boulder. Boulder. Then I use my boulder and drop it there. Right. Then we ring the bell. You take four. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm not going to do this. I don't think. But okay, knows? yeah. I played bad last turn anyway. What do you mean? You played bad. I could have killed you last turn. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh. Well, yeah, I would have won if I realized you know, we had two lives. I would not have okay, played then. so recklessly. At the end of the game. What's up, my fellow Americans? We're back, and we're going to play another yep. round of the description. Another game. round until we activate the custom. Uh, you forgot to shuffle. Oh. Uh. Womp. We had Orubus too. Then shuffle the deck. And then draw them out.
Okay then. And also, before we start, I think it would be funny to do a thing. What? So you see this bag right uh, to the right of your hand. Yeah. I have shuffled it many times. This contains a bag of every sigil. I think it would be pretty funny if we each drew randomly from here so we can apply a random sigil to one of our cards. Okay. We're not doing mine. Oh. Okay, here is yours first. You got Bellus. <laughs> I get to choose what card it goes on. Yes. Though do remember. And everybody but the douse, it just works like damn. So you can put it on the douse and you can uh, fill the entire board exception of the douse with uh, bells. Probably. Definitely not. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think this is good. So I'm just going to put it on okay, Gex. I'm going to draw more too. I got Worthy Sacrifice. I'll set it on Warren. So, uh, flip your card out and just throw this thing right on them. And then let me do my... Okay, it should be attached. Mm hmm. Hmm. Ready for some really gamer? Oh, yeah. Hold on. Definitely misplayed this part. Okay. So, you know, one. Yeah. Sacrifice my squirrel to play uh, Strange Lava. And then uh, you take two. Send it over to my side. <laughs> okay, so for my turn, I get out my kick and my squirrel. Sacrifice it for wolf. Play stink bug. Then drop Mantis God. Okay. And then that'll be my turn, which what's out this, this, and this. Yep. And this. Yep, yep. Play the squirrel. Um Is that there? Go in the mirror. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember. Go ahead and move it away so you don't ask them to snap, please. Back. I won't, buddy. Okay, then. So, is that your turn, I'm guessing? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll kill then. the wolf. Kill my wolf. Like from a zero zero. I think three. Then I ring the bell. Up to one. Oh, yeah, I have bones too. I have six bones. Seven bones. Mm -hmm. Wait. Do my bell thing go in here? Uh, yeah, it did. yes. This shouldn't be in here, right? I mean, yeah, that's fine. Just drop it in then. Right. Yeah, I have six. But it doesn't matter. It's just only one thing. My whole deck uses bones. <sighs> and about... Uh, you take that's nothing. Got my name. <laughs> my one guy just exists. Amoeba, which has the Bone Lord Sigil. Right. And also, uh, that squirrel was sacrificed for this part of time. Uh, there is my bone token. Okay. And you also played your Stink Bug, so you lose two bone tokens. Yeah, it doesn't really matter, because I don't have anything else to use as bones. But, you're right. Yeah. Uh, 
I get one bone token to throw. Then I... Yeah, that'll be my turn. Good, the scale goes up by one. I'll just drop him here. We'll just say that. Yeah, I think I'll just put this guy here. All right, two bones. Yeah. And then the amoeba dies. We have four bones. And then I used my scissors. Okay. To uh, cut your bloodhound. It is now dead. Your turn. So, squirrel. Squirrel, and not that there, I don't want to put there. right there? No. Oh, okay. And then I get two bones. And, uh, yeah, you got the same you know? as I'm getting one HP. Oh, uh, yeah, he is the one, and then my guy dies. My turn, I draw a squirrel, I drop this, and I drop mantis, but not there. Right here. Mm -hmm. Then I ring the bell. And yep. he kills your douse. Yep, yep. I and one. you are killed. And I now flip that. And now I unlock my special ability. Now, drop from the smoke. Right. <coughs> Interesting. Interesting. Yep. Now you get to draw again. Uh, we're just gonna sacrifice my chime to put this here. You cannot sacrifice your chime. Oh, that'd be good to know. It's an inanimate object. Oh. Any card with this inanimate object mind, with the exception of the Warren, are unsacrificable. Didn't know that. All right. Yeah. It says here in the, actually directly in the rule book, specifically that the Warren is a printed error. See, right here. Cards that cannot be sacrificed. All creature cards are able to be sacrificed. However, some such as dam, chimes, or items have a gray-blue background color. They cannot be sacrificed. One exception is the Warren, due to an error made while printing. Okay, so we're just gonna go uh, grade your smoke here, sacrifice okay. it for Mantis God, and then uh, ring the bell. Okay then, I'm gonna discard a squirrel, play a mole. Then summon my Warren with another squirrel that gives me a card from here. The rabbit. However, because my guy is sigiled, he also gets the worthy sacrifice. Sigil, even though this is barely not. What? Uh, I did yeah. not know that. I'm sure knew that. It's because it summons a card. Therefore, its cards also get the sigil. Alright, whatever, whatever. So, it barely does anything. And because of that, I sacrifice the worm to play my raven egg. Wait, I'm gonna sacrifice that. And that is a 1-2. Or a 2 on them. Yeah. Dead. Mm -hmm. That is dead. You don't have a raven, actually. Right? No, I was just saying that off to the side in case it actually evolved. It doesn't matter. You can always just reset the playing field. Okay, I suppose. Anyways, you can't win. 
I guess you can fish up something still. Mm-hmm. Then it is your turn. Okay. And then I'll just ring the bell. Okay. Well then, you win. Yo. Yo. So, you know what that means? What? Time. For me to whip out my real secret. I've actually prepared a thing. Ooh. That is one. It is this. <laughs> so you may be questioning what this is. This is just all the cards whipped out, so we're going to do a few changes. This time you're allowed to make your deck however you want, without the restrictions of the dumbs. Okay. And we'll be also temporarily allowing ourselves to uh, receive a few sigils that go along. Randomized, of course, though. Yeah, yeah. Now, I've also increased the amount of squirrels on both sides to 10. Okay, that's good. And we will be minimalized to a requirement of minimum 10 cards. Okay. That's the minimum amount of cards you are allowed in your deck. So are we like drafting? Or what? Uh, no. We can dupe all of these cards anyway, so... You can just, honestly, just build your deck right now. It doesn't matter. You can, rev actually, it would be hard to keep them semi-hidden. But I'll mostly just keep them all. I don't think that Anthony knows exactly what my deck is. But, you know, it's fine. Yeah, I'll reveal to you my deck. But now that I know what your deck is... I'm definitely going to have to build my deck around yours. No, that is not legal, man. Why? Because Why? you're playing like a nerd. Why? 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 I am just going to be very similar then. Bruh. Well. Bruh's literally just copying me. Okay. Okay, buddy. No, I'm not playing this. Okay, then don't be a nerd. Don't just pick Ouroboros. <sighs> Don't use Ouroboros. What? Don't use multiple Ouroboroses. And to think that uh, we made this pre ourselves pretty strong, I don't think we get any items. Alright. Because I feel like we're both just going to go, like, triple fish hook or something, though. No. And I'm just going to do triple. One, two, three, four. You're missing a card. Oh, yeah, yeah. Forgot to get one more of those. That's mm -hmm. lit. Okay, this time I'll go first. All right. I'll just set this over here because I want you to see my deck and I want to see your deck. Okie dokie. Uh, I'm going to start with. You're done, right? Yeah. Alright, I'm going to start with Gek. Uh, we're current and Gek goes back. I play Gek again. Then I get another worker in it. Then I play Gek and a squirrel and sacrifice both of them. Play Ant Queen. I get an Ant. Um, whatever they are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, 16 minus for 12. Not 12, but uh, actually 12. only 8. What? Why? Mole Man. Oh, they block. Yep, oh, yeah. They throw to a block and they block that. But they die. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot what Mole Man did that. So, you're at one place. Actually. What? Yeah, he's out there too. And, uh, no, you already killed me, though. He only, he's only able to block two hands. But because of Corpse Maggot's sigil, it does that. Yeah. Alright. So you're still now on your second. Now it's my go. 
that's that's the yeah that's my smoke card yeah i play my smoke and uh sacrifice it i play my child 13 in which i use it to summon my grizzly and bloodhound Which I ring the bell and that ends up killing your worker and and my other worker. I can't have food. There we go. Jesus Christ. My flipping is so delayed. Anyways, um, anyways, you have no cards in hand. Mm-hmm. And these two guys die. Uh, these two are dead. Alright, so we played wrong. But I honestly feel like what? we could have been to your advantage. Yeah. Actually, it didn't. It wouldn't have mattered. But... Wouldn't have mattered if what? The ant spawner sigil puts an ant in your hand, not out. But it doesn't matter because I had Gek in this. So. <sighs> I would just have one more ant in my hand, but I missed it. So then. Um, the vulture seems reasonable. I play my turkey vulture, which I deal 5 damage to you this turn and kill your Gek. Yo. That's wild. <sighs> Alright. Mm -hmm. Then it's your go. Yeah, no. Up to the side because I'm not doing it. Then I receive so gonna... one. Play that. Oh, I'm hoping. And then sack it for Aunt Queen. And then we're gonna get an ant in my head. Is right here. Then we're just yep. gonna play Gek, Sack, Gek, play the ant. Receive ant. And then we kill everything except for the grizzly bear, and you take four. Fine, you beat me using one of my favorite deck types. The ants? Yes. <laughs> How are you gonna beat this board? You could have yet. And he got two stock. Anyways. My secret technique. What was your deck based around? Was it just random good cards? Okay, so see, since you won, put all your deck back. I'm gonna reveal to you my deck <laughs> and to the viewers. Yep. Should be a black. Well, goat. because very I have zero blackouts. Interesting. But do you wanna know what I do have? Child 13. Three child 13s with a blood war blood. Yeah. So I was gonna do this deck. I also had like two magpies just so I can guarantee my cards, but you know what happens. The ants. You so we using the ant deck. It's even funnier because when we return to inscription next video. Not next video. Make sure to add some space there, yeah. Yeah, the next time we do Inscription, we'll be playing Casey's mod, which is pretty much just uh, this. Again. Yo. But with more cards that aren't even in here. So now, reveal to me your deck. Oh. Even though I'm pretty sure I know what it is. I'm also just going to start pulling cards out. You do that too. Hi, my fellow Americans. It has uh, been a pleasure to play these board games with Anthony. And I have... I'm really proud that I've kept my cool throughout all of them, and Tabletop uh -huh. Simulator has never been closed on my desktop uh, during this video. I'm so glad we know that uh, if, if you check the footage, you'll see he's been a good sport in every game, definitely. Yep. And especially if you check the uh, post credit scene. Remember that, Anthony? Yeah. Uh, that uh, I never, I never left Tabletop Simulator, not once, so... Yep. Never, he was a very good sport. I would rate this experience 10 out of 10. Yep. Magic the Noah, you better come here. We know you're there. We know you're watching. 
4K. Anyways, uh, make sure to check out uh, noveswellnet.com mm-hmm. or noveswellnet.wordpress.com. Uh, Discord server, TikTok, Instagram, all those in the description. Mm-hmm. And uh, like and subscribe. Yeah. And uh, make sure to make every day a great day by spreading positive. Do you want to know what rhymes with description? Inscription. Uh, oh Next my episode of Oh my god. Omega oh. and Queen. And also, uh, Waluigi takes fifty dollars from you. For me, there ain't no preemptive paying, buddy. There ain't no preemptive paying for the Waluigi. Isn't it a hundred? Uh, no, it's only fifty. He oh, then I give fifty back. No, I paid two hundred last turn. Cause I thought it was a hundred. That's fine. I'll just take my you, fifty dollars. You get, you get that back. That's it. No more. And you pay one hundred right or fifty right now. I already paid a hundred. Yeah, but you can't preemptive pay Waluigi. That's like bribing him not okay. to rob you. He'll rob you anyway, even though you just gave him a bribe. I'll just take this just hundred like back. What he did with Isaiah. That I accidentally dropped in here and there, and then pay that. Yeah, he did. Okay, then. So, Anthony, everybody bro. knows who it is. I'm putting this five in here. Eh, eh, eh. You're stealing the money out buddy. of my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Hey, buddy. You better stop that. You better not be cheating. I'm not. Silas, what you better you stop it. About? You are cheating. No, I'm not. Worry about that. Stop cheating now, buddy. You're going to dislike the consequences of your action. Why do you steal that? I just want it. Stop taking my money, man. You stop taking my money, but you started it. Because you're supposed to lose the money from Waluigi, and you're cheating. Bro, I already paid it. Well, you can select my whole hand as a stack. Yo. Yo. So, uh, Silas, uh, loses the game. Yeah, that's not... Okay, you cheated first, buddy. Not, not even. You're supposed to follow the rules. You tried to bribe Waluigi early. Anthony, there aren't rules. Yeah, there are. That's what you're missing here. You started, you tried to pre bribe Waluigi. You started stealing my money, so I stole yours. That's only fair. I gave it to the, I gave you I gave the one one hundred to the bank. Okay, I already paid you. But then you took an extra one. I took an extra one because you took my one hundred out of my hand. That's because you stole mine. That's fine. I'm gonna entertain the viewers with some little company solo gameplay now. Yeah, you're in the point of the video anyway. Get back in here anyway. No, I already lost. Well, damn, I guess that's the end of the game. Isaiah wins! End of today's episode. Oh. Just kidding. We have more games to play now that we've lost the Isaiah won. So get back in here. We have another game to play. <laughs> Like, the actual intro to today's video. I forgot about that. Okay, then. Just rejoin. Hopefully I can unban you somehow. Yes. Okay, then. Rejoin. Welcome to your first day on the job. This is your ben, now we have the real test of a challenge. For the duration of your contract. Okay, so are you ready for this, Isaiah? Make yourself at home. Uh. I don't think I can play this one. You will want to check the instructions Don't worry, I'll help you play. We trust you will be a definitely. Great 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 you can definitely play this one. What do you mean? Also, are you going to join Styles? I'm busy. Uh, join the actual game. I'm just going to cut it out. Oh.
try to derail the video too now. This is too important. I do be farting. Dude, me too. No. Okay, well, much better. Did you just join my stream files? No. Okay, well, uh, enter south. Hold on, I gotta entertain the views. Can you at least live stream then? Fine, I'll show you what I'm doing. Silas is playing Weeble Company. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Derails this video. Congrats for having a uh, end section. Okay, time to continue working on my D and D notes. You what? I have to finish working on my D and D notes. Oh. Uh. Okay. Then do that. And once he's uh, done, are you doing the? Uh, oh wait, you're doing that. Doing our run? No. That's. Not how it's supposed to work. I mean, you have a shovel. Are you doing the challenge moon? I died. No, I was just uh, running around with the shovel. But what game were you in? What run? I don't know, just a random file. They deleted. Most the likely the. So. Okay, then be up and get in the game. Fine. Okay. I am gonna dip. Because I gotta finish this, and then I've also gotta go to work. Okay. Sorry. Alright. Bye, Isaiah. Bye. Bye. Bye.